Roblox is a platform with millions of user-created games, of which some have even reached billions of visits and great popularity along with them. But which game actually takes the number one spot? Although I've seen many people on social media say that Bloxfruits is the number one most popular Roblox game, it's well known that Brookhaven Roleplay is the most played game on all of Roblox, with about 40 billion visits, which is like 5 times the world's human population. But how did this roleplay game even get so popular? That and much more will be discussed after this short segment since this video is sponsored by me aka my second channel aerobros if you're interested in aviation content then please check it out all right and now let's find out how roblox's number one game even got so popular and thank you to cube inc for this video idea on the 21st of April 2020, a user by the name of Wolfpack, who joined back in 2014, created a new game with the idea of giving players all tools to roleplay, without having to earn money first. He wanted to create a world where you could meet people to roleplay in any social situation, while being whoever you want to be. Which kind of was David Bazuki's fundamental idea when he first created Roblox. Unleashing the limits of the imagination to enable anyone to be who they want to be. So creating a game like Brookhaven was a really smart move, since especially younger players love to roleplay. I'm sure you also remember playing pretend when you were a kid. And it could seem like it was part of Wolfpack's plan to create this game where you could meet and play pretend with other people online right after the beginning of the pandemic, when you could basically just stay at home and play video games. But Wolfpack had already tweeted about making a new roleplay game in early December of 2019, which I guess makes the launch of the game just a lucky timing. As I have already told you, many people love roleplaying, but why and how has Brookhaven become the what seems to be cutting edge game of Roblox? You see, there are other roleplay games on Roblox, for example Adopt Me, which was the most popular game Roblox ever had and broke the record for most concurrent players three times in a week, literally in the same month as Brookhaven was launched, in April of 2020. But I guess over the years, the developers have focused more on the pets than the roleplay. Now, there's also another game that you definitely know, which to some degree goes for the same idea as Brookhaven, and that is Bloxburg. Another game where you can be whoever you want to be and roleplay together with other people, although it definitely simulates society and a strict day-to-day -day work life and economy where you earn money to buy things and houses. But many people think that if Bloxburg didn't have a price tag to pay allowing users to play the game, then it would easily overtake Brookhaven and people clearly state why. There are entire discussions by people on multiple different platforms saying why they think Brookhaven doesn't deserve to be the number one Roblox game. And here are the four main points that I have found. People say that Brookhaven basically consists of free models or models that could have been made in minutes. This is made clear by the way how cars, tools, etc. look. Apart from the models themselves, people are saying that even the GUIs and the map don't seem like someone put actual effort into them and the surroundings don't even look realistic. Another big problem people are having with the game is that there's virtually no goal and currency, so there's nothing to actually achieve and strive for in the game. Now, the fourth problem which I have noticed that people are having with Brookhaven isn't a problem that only affects Brookhaven. This is something that affects Roblox as a whole. Maybe you could already guess it, because the problem I'm talking about is online dating. Even though Roblox's guidelines strictly prohibit sexual activity or real-world relationships in the game, this still happens. So, after hearing all of these flaws of the game, you might be asking yourself, well, why do so many people love the game then? A possible answer to this question is that the target audience of Brookhaven does not care about these things. As I've stated earlier, this group of players generally consists of younger people wanting to play pretend with nothing to hold them back from it. And just some non-hyper-realistic models aren't gonna stop them from it. Recently, Brookhaven has been the hotspot for roleplaying, and the roleplay community seems to have settled on this particular game as the ultimate place for doing so, breaking the record for the most concurrent players many times in the months after the game's launch, reaching 1 billion visits already in November of 2020 and earning the Guinness World Record for most visited Roblox game in 2023. But there are more reasons to why people are so addicted to Brookhaven. As weird as it sounds, this at first seemingly shallow roleplay game contains hidden lore that goes deeper than expected. It's about the founder of the city Brookhaven that finds a magical crystal and many things happen to him because of it that I'm not going to get into deeply right now. There's really good lore videos on YouTube that explain it in detail. 
but this story has encouraged players to make their own stories and roleplay films and post them online, making Brookhaven even more popular. But will Brookhaven be able to keep its high status amongst players? That is a question only time can answer. Alright guys, now thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this and my second channel, Aerobros, if you're interested in aviation content, and I'll see you in the next one.